Tonight's guest is wickedly funny. I'd say uh, off stage, hanging with this guy in real life, nobody, nobody makes me laugh harder in the world. You know him from Saturday Night Live, the NBC sitcom Just Shoot Me. He's currently seen in Eight Heads in a Duffel Bag. Please welcome the mother of all guests, David Spade. David. <laughs> Good to see you. Dennis Miller, you old so-and-so. <laughs> I can't touch the How'd ground. How'd that duffel bag? <laughs> That's Maybe why I... I don't ride first class, Dennis. <laughs> How'd that duffel bag thing open this weekend? Uh, I think... Uh, About 20000 per eight, head, uh, if I'm not mistaken. They got the eight part right. <laughs> Ate it. <laughs> um, no, Entertainment Weekly gave it an F, and out of 26 letters, I thought... That wasn't bad. <laughs> it's toward the top. Now, I know the answer to this, but tell a crowd. What's your relationship with your mom? You, well, you, you've met her. She loves yeah, you. She's, she, a uh, she's a doll, and you know, she has hung in with me since day one. My parents got divorced when I was like four, so, uh, you know, my dad just split. It was one of those divorces. He took off, and then he'd show up once a year and give me a Nerf football for Christmas. Thought he's my hero again, <laughs> you know? Oh, thanks, Dad. Wow, it's two colors. You spoil me, you prick. <laughs> So, because she had the tough part, like you said, she's there. We had three boys, you know, and she's there. I had the measles, she takes care of me. Little league practice, helped me with homework. And then dad pops by in a dune buggy, you know, <laughs> now and then. Puppies and candy, beer. I'm like, yay! My, my mom's in the doorway with her Salem light in her robe. You ass kisser. <laughs> See you Sunday night. Try coming in during the week. Yeah, so it was brutal, so... Uh, How'd she juggle all the responsibility? Well, she... We lived in this, like, dirty little skanky town outside of uh, Phoenix, Arizona called Casa Grande. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> it was mostly Mexican-Americans. And, uh, I wasn't. And, uh, it was... It was, and it was, it was just a weird, like, copper mining town in the middle of nowhere. And it was always hot. And she... She had two jobs. She couldn't afford a babysitter. So what she'd do a lot of times is... This wasn't very responsible when I look back, but she would take us to the desert at one end and drop the three boys off. We were eight, ten, and twelve with two guns, ammo, and a <laughs> pack lunch. And then uh, she'd pick us up seven miles away at a deserted Chevron station when she got off work. And, uh, and so I'm standing there like this, you know, like T2. And I go, uh, what am I supposed to do out here? She goes, shoot, shoot things, shoot around. <laughs> with your brothers, and, and, and I go, what if, isn't that? That's like that Shelly Winters De Niro film. Yeah. Uh, Crazy Larry, Bloody Mama, or whatever Dirty that Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. Yeah, and uh, I go, what if I get hurt? She goes, you got your back, teen. I'll see you at five. <laughs> Has she always been supportive of your showbiz aspirations? Well, it didn't always start out show busy. It was like, uh, at first, I was kind of more nerdly, if you can imagine. I was, uh... Hard yeah. for me to yeah. digest, <laughs> Captain Swing. Yeah, I, was, uh, I wasn't quite the uh, Sean Penn-esque badass I am today. Uh, so I was in, like, Slip and Slide Club, Coin Collection Club, <laughs> Water Wiggle, Sergeant at Arms Club. So I, I had a coin collection, which, you know, I was pretty sheltered, so I didn't know how fruity it was, you know? And I go, Mom, I don't know about this. And she goes, I think it's cute. And you know what? I think it's original and it's adorable. And I'm all for it. And then she'd sneak in my room with a pillowcase full of river rocks with a mask on at night. Snake! Go out for pussy, you queer. Mom! I know it's you. I see your mask. It's somebody else. It's not me. So, so I, I, uh, I did go out. Freud said nothing fucks you up more than hearing your mother say the word pussy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she, she used to say a lot when we'd have those... Those uh, fake blowout candles on her birthday. <laughs> she did every single year. By the time I was three, I was like, I, I see a pattern here. You know? But every time I'd go, I was like two years old, going, <laughs> she goes, blow it out, you queer. They're still lit. I'm like, Mom. I didn't know it was a trick. So anyway, so I go out for football, and, uh, and I have my four If you were queer, you could have blown them up. Well. <laughs> oh, OK, OK, OK. All right, homosexuals yeah. don't blow each other. All right. <laughs> so I, I made that up. I, that was 
was a, that was a dream sequence with Larry Hagman. <laughs> I'm distancing myself from this whole thing. No, anyway, so I went out for football and uh, full pads first day. I'm like, is this tackle? That was the first sign. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and uh, I was I was just Lucas out there. You know what I mean? I was. I was. I was. A cross between Lucas and Powder. You know? <laughs> Two pretty much non-studs, you know? <laughs> Coach is like, what's with uh, the chalk makeup and the fedora? And I'm like, well, it's hard to explain. <laughs> How often do you see her now? I don't, I don't get to see her that much. I call her a lot, and uh, she calls me back and leaves, like, random mom messages, like, um, Davey, okay, I, I finally rented Amadeus. You're right, it's good. It's like, mom, catch up. It's 1980. She goes, no, I know, I'm with it. <laughs> She's so cute. She goes, saw you at the Oscars. Um, that looked like fun. It's good to see you and Chris back together. That was sweet. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not going to say anything about your hair. Uh, call me if you want me to talk about it. And don't listen to Joan Rivers. She's the ding dong. <laughs> She's sweet. You know, but my brother, you know, I, 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 I come in as much as I can to Arizona. I take her out like uh, five times. I take her to lunch, take her to dinner. My goddamn brother, Andy, flies in from New York once a year, takes her to Price Club, and he's a fucking hero. <laughs> you know what I mean? Andy took me to Price Club. We walked through all the aisles, and I was like, God damn it, I can't win. <laughs> we got a phone call, line six. We got Bobby Sue from Lakeside, Ohio. Bobby Sue? Hi, Dennis. Hi, Dave. How you doing? Uh, okay. I wanted to ask you both, um, what's the best gift you ever gave your mom? What's this? Best what? gift you ever gave to your mom? Uh, you bought your mom, did you buy her house? I uh, bought my mom a house. I bought her a... Uh, and then charged her slumlord rents. No. <laughs> you know what? It, better than give her one house, I just give her a per diem. <laughs> <laughs> I send her like a thousand a week, just for fun. Now, I just give her, I just give her stuff now and then, and uh, I try to, uh, I let her be an extra in my movies now and then. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just try to uh, give her the gift of love. Oh, yeah. What about you, David? Yeah. See, you're not as you're not that Hollywood minute no, guy, no. are you? You're a sweet little love button. <laughs> All right, uh, easy, pal. Do you think? <laughs> is there anything you don't need to know about your mother, or do you want to know all facets? Uh, of I don't. Or? Well, you know, like when she quit smoking, she uh, she gained a little weight, which is totally normal. But I remember she goes. Uh, she goes, uh, you know, it's just because I have an oral fixation. I always have to have something in my mouth. I was like, ugh, okay, mom. <laughs> my stepdad's in the kitchen winking at me going, <laughs> shake that body, shake that body. I was like, <laughs> put him up. Do you find yourself, I know you love her so much, do you find yourself over the years becoming more like your mom? Well, uh, I don't know. I know that because she, she had such a rough time with us and, She's from the old school where she shelters you from all the horrible things growing up, like she can't pay rent. She, she never let us know. She's super sweet. She, she treats people with respect, and she is always, like, so trusting of everyone to a fault where it hurts her in the long run. But it's the kind of qualities that just aren't around anymore. And honestly, if I could have some of that, I would be in great shape. She is probably the best person. You I love your mommy, love don't you, Spudley? Yeah, all swear. right, Mom. Hope you're out she there watching. She had such a rough ride that she... She got through it with three boys and, and did a great job with us, and I, I can't do enough for her. Well, she did a good job, because you're the best, man. I Thank love you, buddy. Come here. David Spade, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to finish do the news. Okay, okay.